I'm Sarah Birch with Kingston is News and here are your top headlines. Today September 19th, 2024. Kingston police are investigating after arresting an individual for sexual assaults and are asking any other victims to come forward. The first incident took place on Tuesday, September 17th, around 2.15 p.m., when an individual witnessed a suspect apparently grabbing a female victim's buttocks. Police were then called to Young Street when the same suspect grabbed another female's buttocks and exposed himself to others in the area. Police later located the suspect walking around naked and swimming by Lake Ontario Park. Two officers went out to the boat to retrieve and arrest the 27-year-old male without incident. Kingston police have released the area they had restricted access to while investigating a double homicide on Montreal Street. Perimeter security fencing and police presence will remain in place and the integrated care hub will remain closed. No further details about the investigation have been disclosed, including any updates on the status of the victim who remains in hospital. The inaugural Kingston Climate Expo, presented by Utilities Kingston and the City of Kingston, is set to take place this October. The three-week interactive and educational event will showcase various climate change initiatives across Kingston and will provide opportunities to learn about reducing your personal carbon footprint. A $200,000 donation from the Kingston Lions Club will help Kingston Health Sciences Centre support families with children facing cancer treatment and community members with vision issues. This is the Kingston Lions Club's largest gift to date. Residents and visitors in Kingston this weekend are invited to the Northeast Shrine Association's 2024 Fall Field Days. From Thursday, September 19th to Sunday, September 22nd, more than 300 Shriners and their families will meet in downtown Kingston to discuss their collective commitment to the Shriners Children's Network. The housing vision is bold, but the risk to taxpayers just isn't worth it. That's the message Kingston City Council gave Limestone City Cooperative Housing over its ambitious proposal for a 248-unit, 14-story high-rise that mixes attainable housing and a multi-level vertical garden at Division Street and Elliott Avenue. The upstart housing co-op's hopes were dashed when council voted 11-2 to 2 against the city. On the morning of Wednesday, September 18, 2024, dignitaries gathered in central Kingston to officially unveil the city's largest affordable housing project. The nonprofit Kingston Cooperative Homes says its new three-story, 38-unit building at 1336 Princess Street began accepting residents in May. For more on this story and other local news, visit kingstonist.com and subscribe. Use my code SARAHB2024 for 10% off.